RC here, back with Draft Day Sports College Basketball. This is episode three since we've taken over at this club, and this channel is GM Games. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Check out the rest of GM Games stuff. Lean over and check out my channel as well. i got a couple of things going on. Uh, just started a new horse racing uh, Let's Play and, of course, we have our regular football manager stuff. But let's get into some college basketball, shall we? All right, so we ended up last time on a four-game win streak. I have not recorded in about a week, so I'm trying to catch up with what's going on. Let's check our dashboard. Oh, that's where we're at. My office, maybe? There we are. So win 10 or more games and don't finish last. So... Where do we sit? Well, we've already won 12, so we have hit that goal. And we are 5-2 and two in the Southland Conference, one game behind Nichols State. And uh, what's that? Four games, five in the loss column over Houston Baptist. I think we might actually meet that goal, fellas. All right, well, let's get to it. Keep playing like you're playing, if you don't mind. All right, that's today. Let's see where we're going here. Sam Houston, there we are. I do remember that uh, when we were playing, we weren't watching the scores anymore and we were winning. So guess what? Superstition reigns supreme. and We will keep that going. All right, here we are today. And we are at home against McNeese, the hated McNeese State Cowboys. Hope we crush them. We're not going to watch. Because that seems to be working lately. And. And. There we are. What happened? Did you guys see? Tell me, tell me. Yes, we won 64-57. Let's check that box score. Any win over McNeese is a good win. 20 points for Joey Walls. 10 for Bickerstaff, 14 for Kamara, and 20 for Walls. Oh, by the way, bear with me here a second. It is recording, and you're watching me surf the Internet. I want to go over to Wolverine. So I had put up a, uh, here it is, box scores. All right, so I've had 80 views. So I had put an email for a suggestion for future update or future ver versions. If we look at the roster and the depth chart and the strategy, what does it do? It's point guard, two guard, small, power forward, center, right? So they're always in order. We come here, and it doesn't follow that rhyme or reason. And honestly, I didn't think it followed any rhyme or reason, but it does. At least I was told it does. So, Point Guard, who is one of the regulars over at Wolverine on the forums, has added it to the suggestion list uh, to where they're all in unison. But he said, this is the power forward, small forward, center, point guard, two guard. Is that right? All right. So let's look at our depth chart. So Bickerstaff and Eli are the four and the three. So that would be correct. Kamara is definitely our center. Yes. And then Phelan and Will Walls. Phelan is our point guard, and Walls is our two guard. So that is that stands to reason. So now it's just a matter of remembering they bumped the guards. And it, that's kind of the right order. It's just they're, they're reversed. I don't know why the guards would be at the bottom, but it is. That's okay. Not going to lose sleep over it. We do have a couple of emails. Uh, let's see. We got one campus visit. I appreciate the time, but I'm going to check out more schools fair enough and another win boys all right we go forward tell you what let's just go 
Let's go ahead and sim past the day. All right, so it had just come back and I saw it was switching, so I unpaused the recording and what happened? 6255. I didn't watch again, even though you didn't see that because I had paused it. So let's see. Uh, point guard, 13, 3, and 2 assist. It's not great. 10 points for our two guard, 8 and 7 for our small forward, 10 and 11, a double double for Kamara at center. Very nice. Very nice. We got 12 to 8 in the paint. 12 to 2 on second chance and 2 to 0 on fast break breaks. Kamara, player of the game. All right, so that gives us two more wins in a row. We're 7 and 0 at home, 7 and 4 on the road, 14 wins on the season, and 7 and 2. We hold a two-game advantage in the loss column in the conference. Haven't played quite as many games, but that is all right. So let's see. We are going to go ahead here. We will play to the date. And we'll be back on that day. All right, it's game day. We are on the road, southeast Louisiana. They're 6-12, and 12, but they do have a winning record here in the conference. We don't have an injury, I don't believe, because we did not get a stop. All that is is scouting reports. Any Navy or Northwest State players here in the uh, top 30 for the best basketball player in the country? There should be. I mean, we're rolling, right? Rolling, that's rolling, that's rolling. that's <laughs> that's not how it works. Just because we're winning doesn't mean we have a, the best player in the country. That's too bad. All right. Not going to watch. Not going to watch. All I can see when I look up is the, the red bar. That's it. The red bar and the blue bar going across. So like I can tell, it just paused right there. And then that's the end of the day. But I won't look up until the screen goes black. Superstition right there. There you go. What happened? Oh, and the winning streak has come to a crushing end. The Lions beat us by a measly two points on the road. Oh, that's brutal. And we were crushing them. Look at this. 42-25 at the half. And they just blew us out in the second half. Oh, 46. Per <laughs> they shot 46% behind the arc. 14 of 24. I mean, we had more foul shots. We had, we actually had one less basket total on 13 more shots. But they hit five more three pointers. Jeez, 46%. That's insane. 13 for our, what's that? Small forward. Yes, yeah, small forward. And then 16 for our two guard. Only two points, one for five shooting for the point guard and our center. Player of the game last match, 0 for 6. He does get seven boards, but too little, not enough. All right, that uh, that is brutal. Let's check our dashboard. I want to see where we are game-wise. So three games, and we had decided, I believe, trying to dig into the few brain cells I have left, we were going to go a little deeper game-wise and have less games in that last episode because we were going to go into the postseason. So I think we want to get down to somewhere around UNO or Houston, time permitting. We're only at the 10-minute mark, so we've got plenty of time. These are going pretty quick if we edit all the extra stuff out. So let's go ahead and move forward. So back home, seven and three in the conference. Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Get the job done, boys. You know what to do. Put the ball in the hoop. Get a win. It's not asking a lot. Of course, maybe it's asking my kids to do chores. Maybe it works out the same way. All right, here we go. 
three-point win. And every win is important. 24 points for our small forward. 9 of 11 from the foul stripe, 7 of 8 from the field, and the one shot he missed was a three-pointer. 16 for our point guard, and 15 from our two guard. Four assists apiece. Gotta like that. Nobody scoring double digits off the bench, but I guess they don't have to when the, when the starting five are carrying them, right? We will go with that philosophy. Didn't we just play them? Is that my imagination? We just played them on the road, right? Did we just play them? Yeah, we played them on the road. And what we do? Just drive back up the highway. And uh, I mean, you know, Corpus Christi's a little ways down there, but you know, it's about a what eight-hour drive, I would guess, maybe nine. From Corpus Christi? Yeah, possibly. Anyway, we're back home. So we beat them on the road. Can we beat them at home just a couple of days later? This is good video right here. Me not watching. It's awesome. All right, what happened? Ooh, yeah. That's much better than a three-point win. Beat them by 12 this time at home. Man, we're the real deal. I feel it. 10 for Bickerstaff. He gets a double-double. 10 boards. 22 points for Kamara. 10 of 13 shooting as he dominates in the paint. And we pick up 16 points from our two-guard, Walls. Very nice. That's turning out to be a good move because uh, Walls, if I remember correctly, is a point guard. That he is. Uh, but he's the one that can't handle the ball. And he's the sophomore. Good deal. Put the ball in the hoop and win some games. That's great. All right, we got another campus visit. Didn't think it was worthwhile. That's too bad. All right, let's check the standings. 16 and 5, 9 and 3. We're only one game over Lamar now. I actually passed by Lamar. Uh, Let's see, today's Saturday. I was over there Thursday. I was right, right by there, passing through the Port Arthur into Beaumont area. They're on a four-game win streak. We're on a two. Houston Baptist has climbed out of the cellar as Sam Houston has collapsed with a nine-game losing streak. So at nine, and that's six. So they were six and six. And possibly three and O, oh, and have just gone into the toilet. All right, let's send to the date, and we get to play at home against Central Arkansas for our tenth conference win, if we can pull it off. They're an above five hundred team, eleven and ten, five and seven in the conference, but we're not gonna watch. Don't watch. Jinx is the game. If you're watching and we lose, it's your fault. All right, we should be right there. I saw it was at 99%. You can see when the bar stops. But there we go. I may have looked back too early. Oh, no, we won by 13. Oh, that's sweet. Very nice. Six, oh, look at the points. 16 for Bickerstaff. The three, 19 from our center. He did not get any rebounds, only two for the whole game. Maybe it's hard to get rebounds, especially defensive rebounds, when you don't miss any shots. I mean, they did hit 55%, 56 from behind the arc. So did we. So maybe you can't get rebounds if uh, you aren't missing shots. 10 points for... Feeling our point, and Walls again with 17. How is he doing? He has got to just be ripping it up. 13 and a half points a game, so he's up four points, almost four points a game. Assists are down a little bit. Rebounds are down just a touch. And he's equaled his point production for last season in eight less games. <laughs> 
I'm thinking he's going to blow his record away from last year. Just, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict that he's going to shatter that record. Just, you know, for what that's worth. For what that's worth. All right, so we had said maybe move ahead to the HBU game. So we've got three or four more. We're about 16 minutes in. I think we're on pace to handle that accordingly. And today we are at home again. Going for our 18th win on the season, we've reached the 10-win mark in the Southland Conference. Abilene Christian. Come on, boys. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you in here, man. I'm not watching, but I'm rooting. There's a pause. There's the black screen. Did we win? Did we win? Oh, look at that. 25-point victory. We were up 26 at the half. Beautiful. Beautiful. 22 for Bickerstaff. 9 of 10 shooting. 7 boards. 20 points for Walls. He keeps his scoring going. Sets a new single season record for himself. That is incredible. Loving it. Loving it. And we are still one game up on Lamar, who's on a six-game run. And we are 18-5 and five overall. Now, we're not getting any notification. I mean, we are Northwestern, right? We're not going to get... We're not going to get any type of uh, polls. There it is. We're not going to get votes in the polls, I don't believe. And what I don't know, though, is do we get emails if we're in the polls? I would hope we do. St. Mary's is at 20. Yeah, we're not going to have any votes just yet. They've got a lot more games played than us, don't they? I mean, they played 26, they played 25, they played 24, 23, 23. And we've got how many? No, we've got 23 as well. 18 and 5. Why don't those numbers look like they match up? Yeah, I suppose. 18 and 5, that would be, yeah, so we're right there, but we just, you know, we just don't have the the rep. We don't have the rep to get a vote in the poll. Nobody has the brass down there to give us a vote. That's the problem. They're all predisposed uh, to be, you know, to, to the power conferences. That's all right, man. Treat us like second-class citizens. All right, we're playing uh, the big showdown today. 11 and 3 Northwestern State, 11 and 4 Lamar. For all the marbles possibly in the conference. Get it done. Beat them. Beat the Cardinal. Black screen. <sighs> nerves, nerves. <sighs> Wow, they beat the shit out of us. Wasn't even close. Down three at the half, but they blew it open in the second half. Bickerstaff did well, 17 points, 11 and 8 for Kamara. Walls only 8 points, held to 4 of 12 shooting. And they did 22 of 27. It's hard to overcome, you know... 12 extra attempts and 10 extra buckets. I mean, that's, that's 10 points. We still would have lost. I mean, we still would have lost. Eight, eight to two on three-pointers made. And look at their, their leading scorer was off their bench. 23 points in 16 minutes. Five of six from behind the stripe. Damn. That's crazy. All right, we did have another visit. Uh, Semi-finalists are announced. So there's the top 20 for the player of the year. If you're interested, pause it and take a look at that. And 
We've got a couple of more games. One or two. One or two. I think we might just do one. Because I'm at 21 minutes. I'm feeling one more. That's my call. I'm sticking to it. I might do it different next time. This will be a quick off day, so we won't pause the recording there. I really, I really like the old cartoon pirate for ECU better than the new one. And we are at UNO today. Come on, boys. All right, 86-64, big win, 22 points. Bickerstaff goes for 10, 9 for Eli, 13 for Kamara. Eli got 10 boards, nice. 12 for Phelan, and only 5 for Walls. But we did have uh, Mitchell and Tucker off the bench with double digits, combined for 23 points, 6 boards. Looks like uh, Bickerstaff, Kamara, and Walls all in some foul trouble. Bickerstaff only played 20 minutes, Kamara 23. Walls was up at 28, so he basically played a full game. And that led to Mitchell playing 24 minutes. That's a good bit more than normal. All right, how are we looking here? Second place. We're 19 wins, 19 and 6, unbeaten at home, as is Lamar. 12 and 4 in the conference. Nickel State's 11 and 5. Lamar's 13 and 4, so they've got us by one in the win column. And they're on an eight game win streak. That is crazy. Houston has gotten a win. Sam Houston, I'm sorry, Houston Baptist. And New Orleans now riding a seven-game losing streak. So, I would say we're not going to finish last this year with, what, four games left? We've almost doubled our 10-game uh, win total that we're shooting for. So, the problem is, what does this do to us next year? Does it, you know, do, now are we supposed to compete for the conference title right out of the gate? Um I don't know how quick they change stuff, but we'll see. But I think we made a good move. You know, I mean, you know, I was hoping to do a little bit better at Navy, but um, yeah, you know, hey, they they would have fired. You know, if you guys haven't, you know, look at Mike Shashevsky of Duke. You know, if he was coaching today, Duke would have fired him early in his career. Serious. Uh, the only reason was they weren't expecting much, so they were like, eh, well, you know, who are we going to get? Nobody better. And so they let him keep playing, keep coaching, and, you know, he, he turned into the coach we all know today. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Smash the like button, subscribe to their channel, then go over and subscribe to my channel. Double whammy, and you make two people happy. Uh, so, hey. GM Games, check them out. They've got a lot of stuff going on. And, uh, you know, they've got, I don't know what all they've got. They've got a ton, though. Uh, and then I've got uh, some horse racing and football manager over on my channel. Uh, these go up Wednesdays and Saturdays, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, and we will do our best to answer. And, uh, hey, we'll see you around. See you guys Saturday with the next episode. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.